a little bit of snow, a little bit of bells, and a little bit of Christmas music. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. The original reason why we started doing any vlogging was nothing more than to give our couples a chance to get to know us better. In regards to weddings, we'd usually meet them at least once sometimes never, which I was never really comfortable about. So we'd send out these short videos um, on an email, just so in the run up to the wedding, the 12, 18 months before, they can get to know us. And when we turn up to the bridal preps, we're not complete strangers, which makes it so much easier to film them on the day. And even in the early vlogs, we got good feedback. Um, some even said that they'd continue watching them after our time was over with them. It told me to get over myself. Like most photographers and videographers, we prefer being on that side of the camera. It's where we're most comfortable. When you first start talking to a lens on your own, it's hard, it's, the, there's, it's not natural, there's nothing to engage with. I'm British, it looks stupid. Looking back at some of my early vlogs, I was just so stiff and I had nothing to say. And also, a lot of my work involves interviewing people and most people aren't comfortable in front of a camera. So if I can, give them advice how to look more natural, how to act, then it only makes my work look better. So by the nature of what I do as a profession, I am a creative. As well as producing video content to pay the bills, I also like to indulge in personal projects. You see, I was that young man in the 90s who convinced his friends to do all manner of stupid things on camera. I was that guy 15 years ago who, whilst being an usher at a friend's wedding, said, can I make you a wedding video? Which eventually led to where I am today. I was also that person who, when buying a house with his friend, convinced him to make a six week episode of our moving in experience. And I'm still that person who likes to create family, holiday and travel videos. And that's essentially what these are. These vlogs are travel videos through our work. At the moment, vlogging videos, there's thousands of them on YouTube. They are very popular. But within sort of my industry, I only know a small amount of people that are doing them at the moment. So we have Andy Murphy and Gav Jones who are currently doing a podcast. Neil Redfern's got a good photography YouTube page. Adam Wing's got his wedding videography page. And on Instagram and Facebook, I've started to see short videos from makeup artists, hair, uh, entertainers. I see Steve Heath and Alex Burtwell doing their short videos on Facebook Live. I think 2020 is definitely gonna be the year we're gonna be seeing more people doing things like this, uh, for whatever reasons it may be, whether it's to earn more money, promote themselves, or become minor celebrities within their own field, because they're not hard to do. The biggest thing is getting over that awkward talking to camera thing, which I talked about earlier. It requires a very basic setup, so, Filming in the car, we just have a GoPro attached to the window and a small mic here for filming in the office. Pretty similar setup, we have one camera, which you can see here, uh, the microphone attached here, and out and about we just use the GoPro just to pick up B-roll footage, um, just to mix in. Right, seeing as this is our last vlog of 2019, and we're gonna take a break, um, until we actually get back into the wedding season in March. So before we sign off for Christmas, we're gonna do the obligatory uh, look back at 2019. Hello.